All right, so now we're sitting down with fucking College Radio. Guys, thanks so much for fucking hanging out and doing some stuff with us, especially this late in the fucking evening. And, uh, you know, yeah, it's yeah, 11 o'clock. Uh, King Youngblood's hitting the stage right now, and you guys are skipping them to hang with us. We appreciate it, you know. blowing up our spot. We could have yeah. said this was after. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Their set was incredible. Out. I've never seen them play this well, and I've seen a lot of times. <laughs> so that's what I'm This is here. gonna be like ten minutes. You can catch them after. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Still, yeah. It's not like it's not like we're gonna be here for an hour. We were just saying. No, 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 no. We were watching your set. You're killing it right now. Yeah. All right. Sorry. We're here to talk about us. Yeah. Speaking of you. Uh, Who the you, fuck are you? Yeah, yeah, uh, well, well, what do you play? What do you do? Yeah, go for it. Uh, buddy. I'm Gordon. Awesome. Okay. Oh, 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 you with the band? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. What do you do? Cannabis was partaken while we played it. Really kicked it. Fuck uh, yeah! Let's go. We're, we're a band called College Radio. Um, it started in 2017 and progressed into something much greater. And uh, around 2021, when we met Melvin, it's when it really flourished. But like me and Evan. We played this kick-ass show in like fucking Halloween 2019. 2018. 2018. Oh. You're like an old married couple. Get the years fucking right. Uh, yeah. and, uh, it's it's, it's right, right home now. Uh, <laughs> essentially created the first piece. Of okay. What created the band? He's super sick. And then when we found Melvin, like yeah. it's like a trifecta. And then Kevin's just fucking our. We call him like, our Josh Freeze. He's our utility player right now. Okay. He's he a, can do anything. Literally. I was going to say, because when I was in Dad Bod, y'all had a different drummer at the time. He, he so. Oh, did he? Oh, fuck. He did he? No. Okay, I was going to say, what the <laughs> fuck? I... <laughs> Jesus. He stepped on a landmine? Yes. You know, you, have you ever seen, like, a, you know, like, cereal. the What is the spinal oh, tap shit. bullshit is this? This has happened twice. Yeah. Exactly that. Had, that happened twice? Man. Jesus Christ. You've lost two bad errors to landmines? Yeah. Drummers. Specifically, yeah, specifically. I told it him we need to stop going through Utah world. the way we yeah. do, but we just <laughs> keep going that way. It was a landmine in a McDonald's way. parking lot. <laughs> Jesus. It's Ogden, yeah. man. It's it Ogden. Have been there. I swear. <laughs> Fuck. But luckily, yeah. Kevin is landmine proof. We okay. so there you go. We there love him dearly. So, so far. Yeah. So far. Good thing you have a Kevin. Yeah. Oh my god. Kevin. Oh my god. The rest of you, what do you do? Who are you? I guess we can go down the line. Uh, yeah. My name's Melvin. I've been a guitarist for this band for about three years now, and uh, going on four. And essentially, uh, it's funny. It's kind of this weird, like, fate thing. Because I, I was teaching before the pandemic hit. Yeah. And then I taught for about uh, half a year of the pandemic. And I realized I really wasn't really set in it. But a little bit of recovery, I realized I really was missing music, which is the thing I did before all this. And... I actually found College Radio in like one of those iTunes mixes, the little new oh, music shit. mixes. Yeah. It popped up in my new music mix like seven, eight months before I came to this like come to realization that I need to play music again. Okay. And uh, I made an announcement that I was like, I wanted to try to play in a band. I wanted to do some real touring and give it a real shot. And then lo and behold, Gordon's in my friends list already. And he messaged yeah. me saying, hey, go. we're trying out for this band called College Radio. We're out of Seattle. I don't know if you heard of us. I'm like... Yeah, I actually yeah, have. I yeah, actually know. Yeah, well, yeah. So, yeah. actually, funny enough, I think about it. Fourth of July, uh, 2021, was when I went to Gordon's house and he had me run through like the first three songs of the discography, whatever they had. Yeah. And, like, yeah, I think it was like the first tryout before I got to even meet Evan and yeah. the rest of the band. So. Fuck yeah, It's kind of a weird anniversary. Somewhere. We had yeah. some issues with a couple people where we were like, we need to do a pre try before. Oh, no. <laughs> it's not wasting people. How many people did Evan punch out before we got to know? <laughs> nice. But yeah, Gordon oh. brought a couple of people. Like, like, the second the door was closed, he was like, dude, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I just appreciate that. I was nice. Yeah, no, 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 it's usually yeah. not. Yeah. Well, by I that like, to me, offered him water and shit. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, he still does. And I, he can I sit on the it. chair it's, in the corner. Like it's okay. It's yeah, fine. Yeah. It's fucking nice. Start. He gave he I, gave nerves. It's the douche uh, chair. It's fine. <laughs> He had he had a more loving term for it, but it's fine. <laughs> he, he grew to just call it my seat in the corner after. <laughs> you have to 
to wear this cone-shaped hat, too. This. <laughs> <laughs> For real? <laughs> well, you made it. So, you know, Thankfully. Yeah. Good God. I don't know what I'd be doing if I wasn't doing this. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. But yeah. Uh, I'm... Uh, I, I'm heavy on play bass and I sing sometimes. Sometimes? Oh, sweet. Well, I'm not singing the whole time. So well, you have the easy job. The job. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, we normally do, right? Yeah, yeah. it's bass yeah. bands like an orangutan. It's, I mean, it's, it, yeah. it makes sense. Big fingers, <laughs> yeah. Helps. But yeah, it's it's fun. I, I want to say like one of those Flintstones, like the the brontosaurus that they used for the, the digger thing. Like it's a living. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's a living. <laughs> and uh, uh, I'm Kevin. I play drums. I just hit things. He's got pocket. He doesn't like to admit it, but it's fine. We had a fun drunken encounter when we were in San Francisco. It's like it has to be first... much more specific. Oh, you know I will. <laughs> oh, you know I will. Bobby, it's like the second you know I start the story before you're like be specific. <laughs> It was like the second or third night of our tour with Kevin. It was his first night with their first time with us, and uh, we were going to the Kilowatt because we were going to play there the night after. But the night before, uh, that Green Day cover band or the band that covers how do I play this? Right? No, it was Billy band. Joe Armstrong has a cover band. Okay, and his cover band was playing the Kilowatt the night before. Okay, so we were going to go there and try to sneak in, but we ended up just watching it on the projector they had out there. Okay, but we lovingly got to meet a lot of people from San Francisco, and one of them was this guy who just drunkenly just kept coming up to us. We told him we were playing the next day, and so he just kept coming by. And he's like, uh, "Yo, you're the singer. You got the you got the look for it. Uh, you got to be the bassist, right? You you got the height." Absolutely. But my my favorite thing. Right? My well, favorite no, thing was, Wrong, wrong, but okay. He thought I was drummer for a second, but then I was like, no, 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 I'm not the drummer, it's, it's that guy. And then he stopped, he goes, yeah, I knew it was you. <laughs> <laughs> you can look at this guy and he's got pocket. And then he's just like, he kept coming back to us, like periodically through the night and just come back and like, pocket. That sounds like the best griefer of all time. It was, like, right, yeah. <laughs> it, got, it got a little uncomforting because it was one of those things where he was the first person we saw the next day. Because oh, we told no. him we were going to be there for the show. Mistake. And he was at the door. Literally at oh the door. Oh my god. And I was just like, okay. So he's just like that then. Yeah. Like. <laughs> yeah, so we're just like sitting there. Just he like, wasn't even like, so drunk that he forgot the interaction. Like he was there, ready to go. He took like, notes in here, man. It was right next crazy. to the, the was second or third Jägermeister he had outside or something. He just knew it was then. Like if there was a punk version of Rain Man. Exactly. <laughs> so we just like walked around him and then went on with our day. He still came, I think. So that's <laughs> nuts. Mm -hmm. That was fucking wild. That was a fun one. Uh, <laughs> How long has it been around? Like, uh, how'd you form? Yeah, because it seems like it's sort of like, so this line, well, not, I yeah. mean, because you've been in for a little while. This is like, like pretty much the main lineup. Like, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's been, yeah. Pretty much the lineup for uh, Nothing Ever Changes, it only gets worse. Me and Evan were on I Used to Get Messed Up, which is such a freaking killer song. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but, uh, like I said, the band started in 2017. It really only came together in 2021. Okay. Sir Melvin came, um, and now we're here, just fucking touring, ripping, writing new songs, like killing it, we're killing it. Fun. Okay. Just, got to do a lot of cool things over the last couple of years, I guess, too. Like, very fortunate. Like, oh yeah. Very blessed. Very yeah, no, that that fucking last album, I can never remember the name of it. I've got the poster and the CD for it. Oh, it's so fucking. Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure I uh, pre-ordered it on Bandcamp when it was coming out. And I mean, uh, when I was in Dadbot, we played with you guys in Everett that one time. That was a fun show. For that, uh, that birthday show, your drummer who, you know, passed away after stepping on a landmine. So, yeah. yes. Um, yes. you know, unfortunate. Yeah. Pour some out for him. Oh, so uh, unfortunate every you know yeah. as a drummer myself I'm always worried about my spinal tap moment when an elephant's gonna step on me or when I'm gonna get a slowly steamrolled over because I'm just standing there screaming preoccupied about my existential crisis that I'm about to have so you yeah. seem like a nice guy I don't think that's gonna happen <laughs> you like knock on wood knock on wood yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. this is vinyl not wood no. I'm fucked oh, no. not real. we hope yeah <laughs> I always tell people when it comes to like our shows, like the way we do our shows, uh, something I always think about is like how we perform is kind of not unorthodox, but we just we have fun. Yeah. I think that's something that's very yeah. clear. The energy is infectious, mm -hmm. but uh, I always think back to 
why we're even at this point. Mm-hmm. Like I said, I wouldn't be here for yeah. being out of yeah. the pandemic and right. having that realization. It's like, you don't take it for granted. And oh, I yeah. think we take every show like it's, you don't know when it's going to be our last. That's so. our logic, too. It's like music is so fucking serious have these fun, days. Man. Just yeah. have, a, have yeah. a good fucking time. Yeah. Do, don't take everything so seriously. Everything doesn't have to be so serious. You, you're allowed to have some things mm-hmm. be a lot more laid back. And That's music, music, music should be one of them. <laughs> That's why what? We don't play to a click. Yeah, <laughs> neither do we. Let's go. <laughs> <There it is. laughs> No clicks, <laughs> no clicks for life. Yeah. We don't even have it here because we're too broke. Have, nice. have, have, have fun, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. And enjoy what you're fucking doing. Because if, you're, if you're not up there dancing, sweating your balls off, have a good time. Hell yeah. I mean, I could go without that second thing. Oh, if, I go, if I could oh, go. No, the sweaty balls one, are If I could not sweat, that'd be great. No, I, I'd, I'd love for my Porsche to just like lock up for one show. Just see what happens. If I. If I. If I don't have a swamp fan. ass after, I did not do it well enough. It'll be your biggest right. fan. Oh my god, yeah, it would be. It'll be like the Mel fan. I think I read that in the Bob Dylan song. Yeah. Because it'll be all of a bunch of poker gibberish. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't have swamp ass after the set. I didn't do it right. Did you know there's yeah. a gold like record on the back of one of the Apollo like ships that were sent out that's just going? Oh yeah, what? The, the gold record. Yeah. It's meant to try and communicate with the space folk. Okay. If they're really into like the warm blood. Who sound. was the... Sh- Chuck Berry's on it. Is it uh-huh. Chuck Berry? What are they trying no, to do? Multiple Chuck Berry pregnant? and all yes. classical music. Exactly. That's oh, no, if they wanted to do that, it'd be a Marvin Gaye vinyl. Oh, that's true. But how funny yeah. would it be yeah. if the aliens yeah. came down and then instead of it being like a whole weird interaction, they just kind of go, dude. Like, they yes. got No, it just got yeah. so <laughs> <laughs> I love the assumption is that, like, they figured out vinyl so exactly the way we do it that they're yeah. like, this must be a 45. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's no way yeah, to Fuck you. You have it at 90. It's at 33 and a third. This does not compute. Yeah. Play tracks. Obviously, Play two is B. low. That's where it becomes scientifically <laughs> logical for me. Track we, five, we, side we B. We lost all concept concept here. Yeah. Yeah. Left is in the there's sun. There's no sun. <laughs> in the sun. It is warped. <laughs> this whole interview's falling off. <laughs> Jokes uh, on you, there were no rails in the first yeah. place. Plot twist, I guess. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> and if we want to make it uh, more off the rails, we've got the most important question of the night before we get into these. Oh, yeah. What's your favorite fishy mushroom song? Fishy mushroom song? Us. Uh, the three of us. Of the band Fishy Mushroom. Mushroom. The yeah. Legends yeah. from Tacoma. The, uh, uh, all punk Tacoma metal song. emo uh, Dude. god fucking damn how <laughs> can we forget bury me in barstow but, they, uh, it's the one god to call this song god fucking god damn it damn. <laughs> i would say no, I like J O N N Y S E M O N S O N. Oh, he likes just the possession of narcissistic nightmares, yelling silently, invoking much obliter, invoking much obliteration, soothing oddly nauseating grief. I'm a little drunk. Yeah, that's the homage. It's Johnny's emo song. Yeah, I wish. in between here and you still had the periods, like the same thing, because it's got it's you know a letter and the period in between. Yeah. But I wish that you had the apostrophe in here. But it was period apostrophe. <laughs> no, uh, the letter. Jesus and Christ. also that you had We're to not find. We're not putting that much work into it. Oh, no, 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 I would make it worse because then you should have included that in the acronym, so you'd have to find a word that starts with <laughs> apostrophe. apostrophe. Yeah, like. Oh my God. Why does that sound like the <laughs> most heavy technical prog band song ever? <sighs> oh yeah, it makes it so much worse, like immediately, because this is good, and that could make it. Uh, oh god! I mean, I it's was going for like enough. a number twelve looks like you vibe when I was coming up with the titles. So I mean, yeah, yeah, I think, <laughs> I think you nailed it. It's better than them. It's or like maybe like a fall of Troy, you know, the I was thinking that remix, remix, but like yeah, but yeah. like yeah. just worse. <laughs> Um, it's ridiculous. Ridiculous. R- there ridiculous you go. The, the, one. the song about our best friend in the dildo world. Dildo might feel just because you know, know, like we're yeah. so used to mind feeling. Maybe I, it was a dildo mind. Dildo mind. Dildo, dildo, dildo mind. Yeah, yeah. is a pretty good. That's one. what happened. Yeah. There you go. Okay. He got killed by a dildo mind. 
I think I, I think me and my wife's song was "It's Serious or Is It." I, I oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, so the Ballad of Rabies Part Two. Uh, yeah. This time it's serious or is it? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, it's a real one. It's a real one. It's uh, it's a very heartfelt song. Uh, yeah, Part One's better. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I, I, you can have your opinion, Kevin. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> it's a lot of people. Oh, Jordan, don't taste me. Ready for these random questions? Right, let's do the question. Potato check. Oh god, I got two. Shit. Oh god, fucking damn it. First he, pick, thing. first he picks the worst song, and then he picks two questions. Oh my gosh, who was my first celebrity crush? Ooh. Ooh. Really Ooh. Yeah. And this right. is for everybody, by oh. the way. So who's your first celebrity crush? Hank yeah. Ranger. The- Hank yeah. Ranger. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Al Johnson. Daughter for Roseanne. Kimberly Joe Hart. Really? Okay. That's the name of the oh, uh, no. Darlene? Darlene. Darlene. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but Hank there's a twist. Yeah. Oh, I need to know. I yeah. thought Darlene sang the Richard Marks song uh, that, like, uh... Uh, that fucking the, the only Richard Marks song that's real popular. Fuck, I can't keep my eyes off you. <laughs> what? No, is it Little Vita Loca? Margarita Mill. Anyways, yeah. I can't stop this feeling anymore. Oh my god. <laughs> oh goodness. I... Oceans apart, <laughs> day after day. <laughs> and I know it all. I can't think of the name though. What's that song from Titanic? It was uh-huh. that one, right? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I'm a pro wrestling fan, so like I think one of my early crushes was like Mickey James or something like that. Okay. All right. I'm glad you're in China. Oh god, no. <laughs> I'm not talking like Mysterio like that, dude. I can't. Throw him around. I think mine was uh, Melissa Joan Hart with yeah. Clarissa. Yeah. Clarissa. Yeah. 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 yeah, I like an intelligent woman. Oh yeah. <laughs> she certainly knows how to explain it all. She plays to the camera. She's good. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, close your window, but... (laughs) (laughs) She knows. It's the 90s. Security wasn't necessary. You're gonna get bats in there. (laughs) (laughs) It's not Are You Afraid of the Dark. It's Clarissa Explains It All. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Different monsters. Are You Afraid of Clarissa Explaining It All? Oh my god. If you imagine she's just like in the closet at night, like, hey! (laughs) I I would totally be okay with that. (laughs) (laughs) She just pops up, hello! Yes. Yeah. But it's actually Sabrina and not her. Yeah, it's oh, Sarah Michelle Gellar instead. Yeah. A lot more with concerned. the cat. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> she can catch me anytime. It's fine. All right, let me go ahead and get one. All right, next. Oh, wait. He's, he's Pink Ranger. Oh, yeah. Pink Ranger. He's the one who had it off the top. That's right. He was. Oh, that's that's right. Right. He was Jesus. Was man, was I'll red. Blue. Blue. Forget that's right. Oh, my God. Ooh. Okay. Forever. It was what just a it? Japanese guy in a suit when it was the Pink Ranger. <laughs> Don't ruin it. I'm reading. <laughs> Thanks. No kidding. Quiet coyote. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, God. Sorry, drama. You're um, welcome. No, that's why I threw PTSD, it out there. PTSD, man. That's why uh, I threw it out there. They might give you five? No. no. Okay. <laughs> what is a cover song you've always wanted to do? Oh, man. That's a tricky one. Because uh, And why is it not semi charm life? No. Because <laughs> it's been done to death. I know. Before your strong perfected it. I'm going to say that now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, I actually would love to do like a neck deep song. I'm okay. a really big, I'm a really no, big fan of I would be right up your guys' uh, alley. I know. love, I love their Life's Not Out to Get You album, but I particularly was a big fan of Peace and the Panic. I can run up pretty much a lot of their album just by front to back. So, Hell yeah. If not that, a one year's track like Teenage Parents or uh, The Devil in Your Bloodstream would be a good like slow build. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, rhythms from Sun 41. Oh shit! Oh, yes. Yeah. There you go. It's different. Yeah. It's a it's a real good like you have to know some very much B track. Like, it's a very yeah. it's a very sound like if you don't know it, you don't know it. You yeah. fucking poser. <laughs> don't know rhythm rhythms by some forty one. Fuck you. I want to yeah. do uh, if you're feeling sinister by Bell and Sebastian, but do like the drums from California Drought by No Effects. <laughs> It, it, <laughs> it fits really, really well. Okay, okay. Evelyn's casket. Calm down. What did they do? Yeah. They do. They do. Billie Eilish's "Bad Guy" underneath uh, "Psycho Killer" by like, yeah. Talking Heads. I was trying to figure out what that was. We used to do. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no. We used to do as an intro. Uh, what is it? It was uh, undone. The sweater song, but it was a. F- Oh my god, oh, fucking no. Weezer. No, 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 no. It makes a limp biscuit. Yeah, yeah it was the yeah. vocals to oh, the. God, to the, god damn it. It was the, no. uh, the melody of Weezer, but it was the vocals to break stuff. That's oh it. Oh my god. god. It, it was just run to the chorus. It was. 
It was fun. Uh, that yeah. shit. Oh, God. It was, it'd be so fun to watch the crowd go, what the hell is this? this? Is and then they click at the middle of the chorus. Uh, like, oh, okay. It's a thing. Okay, they're, they're doing a thing. Ah. It's, it's called starting from a place where we can go up. Uh, it's, yeah, it's it was starting tight. from okay. below the ground to like, oh, I'm uncomfortable now. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> what you got? Well, come on, Kevin. Come on, Kevin. I mean, every band I've tried to, I, it's been Rudy Can't Fail by The Clash. I've tried to get every band I've been in to cover that one, but no one's fucking I keep, I Done. Keep, you want to do it? We'll I keep waiting for go. one of these, these there you go. obviously not death years, metal David. bands to just say like a Dying Fetus song or something as a cover they no, want to do. Yeah. I, I would love to do some stupid kind like of just like a carcass punk cover, cover though. Like a, yeah. a, a pop punk Rick Astley or there's, some shit like that. There's like a what band a, called Sinking Ships, actually. It's a hardcore band from Auburn, Washington. They were on Rev Records. I think it would be fun to cover just because it's like... If you take the vocals off, it sounds like a punk song, so it'd be kind of fun to turn into a oh, shit. punk song. Actually, Le Scrawl. Le Scrawl. There's this weird ass band from Europe, but like one of the songs is like ska, polka, like death metal. Like Fintroll. Polka metal? And it's like Skulka a minute. Metal. That's intense, That's dude. That's straight like Fintroll, dude. Solitary oh, yeah. confinement. Look at that song. Big it's weird out, but amazing. death metal. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. It sounds like pain. A little kind of does, yeah. A little bit does. I mean, what? dude, Adam in a seven string, he was so proud of that. He's like, I know I'm not metal, but I, my wife got me a seven string, and I, I just so was proud of that. Sick. He was so giddy. I was stoked for him. That was awesome. Well, he was like, so you were in a metal band, so you know what this kind of like a seven string is. You get it. <laughs> you get it. Yeah, fuck yeah. Know it. <laughs> well, that's it for the fucking interview. Uh, I want to thank you guys for coming out and oh, yeah. hanging out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was badass. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> Colored Radio, check them out everywhere. I imagine you guys are everywhere, right? Yeah. Like Bang, like, I, Spotify. I joke yeah. with people and I say that if you still have your laptop from high school and you still have LimeWire, you can probably find us there too. Probably. Fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. Colored Radio, check Thank them out. King Youngblood, we see you. It's the, uh, it's the end of the day. We, we've got, I think we get King Youngblood after these guys. Yeah. Hopefully, catch y'all next time. Cuba Juicy.